everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my living room for this week's midweek mini frugal living vlog. If you are a brand new viewer, I hope I earn your subscription. It means a lot to me when you subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. Well, let's kick off this video with a thrift store haul. And please stick around so I can show you what I'm cooking this week. Okay, this is gonna be a fun thrift store haul. I got a bunch of little stuff and you're gonna see the different colored price tags on here and that's because I got these on different trips. The first item we've got is metal and I think this is aluminum. It's made by a company called Ebba Loy. I have never heard of them before, but this is an item that's built in two pieces it looks vintage to me and it's some type of press so i don't know if you use this for making certain types of things for canning but i thought maybe you would use it to squeeze citrus like orange slices or lemon wedges if you know anything about this product please let me know the original price was three dollars and i got it for 225 that's pretty neat. Then for my office, well, I live in a tiny trailer. I don't have like a real office, but <laughs> I've got my little workstation for my YouTube channel. I got this eraser pack. It was 50 cent, but I got it for 37 cents. I thought that was a great deal. The next item was really, really special. This is made by the Bee Man Candle Company. It was $5, but I got this for $3.75. And each little candle is supposed to burn for four hours. And look at the shape of the candles. They're shaped like little pine cones. I thought this would go really great with my winter wonderland theme. I still have my Christmas tree up and I think this will be a really nice addition. Love it. The next item are curtain clips. These were $3, but I got it for 75 cents. I couldn't believe all of these clips. And look how sweet that is. It looks like a little red rooster. This will be really fun in the spring and the summertime. The next item was a dollar and I paid 50 cent for it. And this is an over the door rack. This reminds me so much of the 90s, but this is just one of those little functional items. I'll make really good use out of this. Well, do you have a favorite item from this thrift store haul? If you do, please let me know what it is. I'm leaning towards the pine cone candles made of beeswax. Very sweet. But tell me if you've got a favorite item. I don't know why this was at the food pantry. The best buy date is in February and it's still January. Hmm. I just used my Majo manual coffee maker to make a beautiful cup of coffee. It's the highlight of every day. Well, I can't forget this. Let's add a little bit of collagen powder to the coffee. Give it a stir. Now we're ready. I couldn't believe they had this. It's amazing some of the stuff at the food pantry. Let's check this weather. Oh man, I got ice on my door on the inside. I got icicles on my door. Huh, that must be cold. <laughs> I don't know really how to prevent that, but. Wow, can you see that? That's incredible. Uh, I guess as it heats up, it'll just melt. Dag on, it's on the frame and everything. Well, let's see how Mr. Turtle is. Mr. Turtle, is you frozen? 
Are we just gonna close this on up? I'm so glad that heat just kicked on. I'm staying toasty warm. Don't you worry about me. We still have the snow on the ground. It's fine. It's gonna be 33 degrees today. Right now it's 17 and I don't even have socks on. So it's pretty warm in here. I added some weather stripping foam up here and also along the upper seam or left seam. I've bubble wrapped the door better and we're gonna find out if tomorrow morning there's icicles up here. So just running a little storm door experiment. Let's check on the storm door and see if I've got any ice on the inside. I feel some moisture, but I don't feel any ice. That's great. I think this worked, putting this gray foam here. Fantastic, I'm gonna call that a win. Let's get these B vitamins. Of course, I've gotta add some black pepper. Pepper. Let's add a little cheese. And here's my protein snack of the day. I have a hard boiled egg with a little salt and pepper and a piece of cheese, looking good. Look at those cheddar biscuits. I went ahead and put some jelly and butter on it. Plus, I got some cheese tray on this plate. All this came from the food pantry. Thank you, food pantry. Let's try this soup. So I microwaved the soup, and this tastes just like Denny Moore beef stew. Really good. Even though it's good, I still gotta pepper this down. Pepper. In the corner here, I've got the pink table with my nativity scene on here. Some of the brass that I got from the thrift store. And actually the brass pot and the brass lamp came from the dump. But I like having the lamp in the corner because it illuminates that corner at night. It looks really nice. And I think the pink table fits pretty well off to the side in the corner. I've struggled where to put this, if I should make this into my living room, like coffee table, but I think this works better as a little side table to put decorations on. What do you think? Do you like this? Do you like the lamp in the corner? Well, it's my favorite part of the morning. It's coffee time. Let's give this cereal a try. Ooh, pretty. So this milk I got from the food pantry too. The best buy date has already passed, but I think it's still good. Let's try it out. Black pepper, just kidding. We're gonna add some cinnamon instead. Well, that's pretty good. And the milk is still good. Whenever I can get organic milk from the food pantry, I try to grab that up because it does seem to last longer beyond the best buy date than regular milk. You know what time it is? Lasagna time! Oh, this is vegetarian. Let's give it the sniff test. <laughs> Smells all right. Let's get this in the air fryer. Oh, this is dusty. I gotta clean that. Just a few more seconds on the lasagna. Two, one. Oh yeah. Let's get this plated up. That is gorgeous. The layers on that thing. Wow. Isn't this beautiful? Thank you, food pantry. The food pantry definitely elevates what I eat here. So glad to have them. We have the lasagna plus a cheddar biscuit. Everything is better with cheddar.
Okay, let's give this a try. This is absolutely delicious. It's vegetarian, so there's no meat in it, but it's really, really good. How beautiful. That's right. My Christmas tree is still up. I got all the ornaments from the thrift store. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I've kept this Christmas tree up. Tonight's tea is the Apothecary Golden Dream Hemp Chamomile Tea. Look at all the stuff in the tea bag. It looks very botanical. What did you think of all the meals that I made? Did you have any favorite ingredients? I like taking the perishable items that I get from the food pantry and making something out of it. I'm really lucky that I get a lot of ready to eat meals and just putting a pretty plate together. I think my favorite meal was the lasagna because that's something that I never make. I don't have a traditional kitchen set up with a stove and an oven. So when I do cook, I'm cooking out of the air fryer or off of my hot plate. And thank you everyone that taught me that the honey does not expire. That's really good to know. Let's see if I can open this up. Now I see why it was at the food pantry. It is all busted up. I don't know if I should use that because the safety seal just came right up. Looks like the safety seal was compromised. I'm going to hold off using this, but do you think it's okay? Well, I put the lid back on. Do you guys think I should use this or throw this out? I really don't know because once the safety seal is compromised, I kind of feel like, eh. But then again, y'all told me honey lasts forever, so <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. What's your opinion on this matter? I went ahead and got one of my old peanut butter jar lids. Let's see if that fits. Well, it's sealed now. Thank you for making it to the end of my video tonight. I hope that I earned your subscription. If you are a new viewer, I do hope you chose to subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your continued support. The channel is growing. It's a very exciting time for me and I enjoy making these videos for you. My next video comes out on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you can make it. Thank you for spending a little bit of your Friday night with me. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.